welcome everyone to Fearless Friday, where I offer a quick tip, exercise, or just a thought on how you can live more for yourself. My name is Dr. Benjamin Ritter, leadership and career coach at Live For Yourself Consulting, where we coach and guide individuals to create a career they can love. Remember, today is your day, and how can you make it fearless? You might have heard before to trust your gut and your feelings. Well, they may be steering you wrong, especially when you're trying to do something new. Watch this quick video to figure out why and what to do about it. Hey everyone, my name is Dr. Benjamin Ritter. I am the author of the book, Becoming Fearless and founder of Live For Yourself Consulting, where we coach and guide leaders to become the leaders of their own career. If that sounds interesting to you, make sure you go to liveforyourselfconsulting.com. And if you like the content in this video, make sure you like, you comment, and you share it and spread the good word. So your feelings lie to you. They don't generally have your best interest at heart. They are just reactions to the environment around you. And if you're doing something new, pretty much all the time, it's going to feel uncomfortable. It's going to feel wrong. And the things that you really need to do are going to feel really uncomfortable. So at times you may be excited and feel a sense of momentum once you actually are making progress. But those feelings of discomfort tend to prevent us from taking action towards the things that we feel like we need to do or want to work towards. And so if we trust our feelings, then generally what's going to happen is we're not going to take action and we're not going to get to the good feelings, which come when we make progress, right? That's when dopamine gets released. When we're actually working towards a goal. So the trick to actually making some progress towards something that you kind of want to do, but aren't a little, aren't a little sure of is to find the least uncomfortable thing that you can do within that topic. The, the one thing, as small as it, as it is, it doesn't have to be massive or big. One little thing that you can actually feel mentally that you accomplished, because what is what that is going to do, it's going to start like moving that boulder of discomfort a little bit further up, and then a little bit further up. And eventually what's happened is you're going to get to the top of the mountain, the boulder's going to fall down, and that discomfort you feel about the new thing that you want to do is now going to be momentum and motivation and engagement and connection. All the good feelings that are hiding right now, kind of behind the fear of starting something that you just aren't 100% sure about. So you may have a hard time figuring out what that little thing is. If you do send me a message, let's chat about it. We'll figure out a way to craft a thing that you want to accomplish in a way that's more manageable to you. Or just talk to a friend, a mentor, be like, well, how would you go about this? Or if you had to take one little step towards this, what would you do? That can be incredibly helpful to start building that momentum towards living a fearless life that is truly for yourself. So get out there, everyone, and live fearlessly. If you have any thoughts and comments, be sure to use the links in the show notes to send a message my way. Thank you all for being here. Keep on living for yourself.